Dave, I've been to Herco Christmas Open House for a number of years. However, from an engineer's point of view, what benefits does this event actually offer to them to come here? Yeah, we're very proud of this event. Uh, it's grown and grown over the years. I wouldn't say necessarily even if you're buying, certainly people with year-end budgets come here and look to specifically do a deal on a machine. And we try to obviously tempt them along. We have a few um, ex-demo deals, machines um, that we want to replace with new models in the new year. But, but actually, there's a lot to see, even if you're just interested or want to see what Herco has to offer. We've got our mills, our lays here. We've got a rotors machine, one of the high-speed, high-precision machines. But also, we've got 19 suppliers this year, people from CAD CAM, work holding, height setting, uh, coolant suppliers, automation suppliers, um, all sorts really. So there's an opportunity to really learn about what you can get from a Herco machine and what the kind of benefits you can get from the add-on items as well. Because one, one thing I've noticed is that if I was an engineer, there's a lot of your suppliers here that there's not much that wouldn't run your shop floor effectively. No, there's really everything you'd need. You could certainly completely tool up a machine for a job from a tooling cutter perspective, work holding. Um, yeah, it's the whole solution's here. It's, it's interesting. There are probably two benefits for the uh, suppliers to be here. Obviously, they get the opportunity to talk to our customers firsthand, and we can direct them towards people that we like to use, people with whom we have a good relationship but also they get a bit of salesman time as well. So each of the sales engineers will have a chat to each of the suppliers. And it means that their knowledge isn't just Herco, they can tell people about what other options they have. Particularly, we're finding things like um, zero point clamping, probing, those kind of things are becoming more and more questions our sales guys are being asked. So Dave, 2016 has been a busy year because you've been at uh, Southern Manufacturing, you've been at Mac, but what is the best bits of your 2016 year? What we found this year, people seem to have been investing more in higher value, higher specification machines. So we've seen really good increase in orders on five axis machines. Our SRT model is, is particularly popular, but also the 10U and the 30U trunnion machines. Um, but the other area where we've seen a lot of growth is the DCX product, which is our large large travel tra traveling column machine we're just installing this week a five axis our first five axis version of that machine the dcx 32 si and we're really expecting that area to grow there's talk of a dcx 62 which would be a six meter version of that machine in the future so 2017 is there more to come out of herco there are a few things in the offering, yes. I'm certainly expecting to launch a lower cost, more compact trunnion machine, the VC500, cut towards the summer. There's also quite a lot of developments on turning, but I really can't tell you any more than that at this point. So to sum up, this is the second day. How has the first day been for Herco Christmas Open Event 2016? First day was very busy. We're expecting more people through the door today. Yeah, you have to get in early for a sandwich at lunchtime. It's been so busy. Parking's difficult to get. A lot of people through the door. I'm expecting a good December. Great. Thanks very much, Dave. Thank you very much, Mark.